Okay, so this scale model of an open bottomed fish tank, you're gonna need some tubing, just any scrap tubing from a um, air stone, one jug with some water in it, and one empty jug, and a soda bottle with the bottom cut off. I'll just use the Stanley knife for this, and anything that you can use to cut it off would be fine. Now, first of all, you're going to need to put this tubing through this soda bottle. As you can now see, the tubing is going up in here, into the bottle, and into the top. Now place your bottle inside your empty jug. Now if you've got set up, basically ready for some water to be poured in. Now, I've started pouring water in. But as you can see, the water is, the bottle is just floating instead of going up inside, the water going inside the bottle. So what you need to do, you need to grab the other end of your tubing and suck as you're pouring the water in. Now you need to keep your thumb on this end of the tubing while you extract it from the bottle. Just a reminder, this is just a scalar model of a full fish tank. You're actually going to need glass and filters and everything. I'm just trying to show you how the concept works. Now, as you can see, here is your normal water level. This is about here, just under the C on the crush for the label. And here you have the water level in the bottle. So that's basically how it works. Now I'll show you what happens if you let air in. Now this is why I need to use a scale model. You unscrew the cap and the water goes down, which which makes this water level here rise. And therefore if you had a proper fish tank and you let too much air in the top. You would have water all over your bathroom, not bathroom, all over your floor. So, I hope this helps with the concept of the open bottom fish tank.